So to solve this linear system, the first thing we're going to do is isolate the variable for one of the equations. And looking at these two equations, the second, the x in the second equation has a coefficient of 1. And so that makes it easier to solve for this x compared to any of the other variables. So we're going to use, we're going to solve for x in the second equation. And the first thing we're going to do is add 2y to both sides because x minus 2y plus 2y is x. And if we add 2y to the right side, we end up with 4 plus 2y. So now what we're going to do, after we've isolated the variable in the, first, uh, the second equation, we're going to substitute that value, 4 plus 2y, into the other equation. So the, this x is 4 plus 2y. We're going to substitute it in because remember the x's at the point of intersection are equal. So we're going to substitute, if, um, if this x is 4 plus 2y, we're going to substitute in for 4 plus 2y for the other x. So now we've done that. And so now we're going to solve for the unknown. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. So we've got 3 times 4 plus 2y. And we can use the distributive property here and multiply this out. So we end up with 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 2y is 6y. And then minus 4y. We simplify. 6y minus 4y is 2y. Then we have to subtract 12 from both sides. And we end up with 2y is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 2, and we find that y is equal to 0. So now we've, we've done our third step. So now we found that y is equal to 0. And we're going to now, for a fourth step, substitute back into either equation for y equals 0 to find the x. And so we're going to take y equals 0 and substitute it into this first sorry the second equation so when we do that we end up with x minus 2 times 0 equals 4 and 2 times 0 is 0 and x minus 0 is uh, just x so we end up with x equals 4 so now we found our second variable and lastly Sorry, the solution to our equation, our, our linear system then, is 4, 0. So these two lines are going to intersect at the point 4, 0. So now we're going to do our check. So the first equation is 3x minus 4y equals 12. And the second equation is x minus 2y equals 4. So if we're going to substitute in for x equals 4 and y equals 0 to the each equation, well, the left side of the equa first equation is 3x minus 4y, and the right side is 12. So we're going to substitute in x equals 4 and y equals 0. And this then becomes 3 times 4, which is 12, minus 0, which is 0. And 12 minus 0 is 12. Left side and right side are equal, so that checks out. The next one, left side is x minus 2y. The right side is 4. So we're going to sub in again for x equals 4 and y equals 0 into brackets. And this is equal to 4 minus 2 times 0 is 0, which is equal to 4. So the left side and the right side are equal. So our second check works. So we know we've got the question right. So our solution then, the point where these two lines are going to intersect is 4, 0. So a company sold five standard air conditioning units for, and four deluxe units for $39,000. The same company the next month sold four standard units and two deluxe units for $24,000. Question is, how much does each unit sell for? In other words, how much does each standard unit sell for? And how much does each deluxe unit sell for? So what we're going to do is create an equation to represent the first month's sales. And we're told that they sold five standard air units. 
So that's going to be five standards. They also sold four deluxe units. And the total that they earned from this, or the total revenue, was $39,000. So we're going to let S represent the price of each standard unit. And D represent the price of each deluxe unit. So the five standards will sell for five times the price of each standard unit, so 5S. And four deluxe units will sell for four times D, which is four times the price of each deluxe unit. And the total, 5S plus 4D, was $39,000. So now what I'd like you to do is create an equation that represents the second month's sales. And then when, after that, you're going to have two linear equations. And then solve this linear system by substitution in order to determine the price that each deluxe unit and each standard unit sells for.